Welcome to Geograph. We continue with uh, physical weathering and the factors or that uh, promotes physical weathering. So today we want to look at uh, granular disintegration. So it's caused by temperature changes, for example, in semi-arid or arid deserts there is marked due range of temperature due to direct heating by the sun during the day and uh, rapid radiation at night. So these changes affect rocks which have varied mineral composition resulting in two different rates of expansion and uh, contraction. So this uh, also leads to grain by grain breakdown of rocks. The next one is broke disintegration. It occurs due to temperature changes which cause alternate heating and cooling of rock layers. Surface layers are heated and expand during the day but contract during the night as they cool down during the night. They cool down during the night due to rapid fall in temperature. So this alternate expansion and contraction places or applies pressure on the rock which leads to development of cracks continuation of expansion and contraction leads to shattering of rocks into large rectangular blocks this is common in well jointed rocks so this is what happens so this is what happens contraction and uh, expansion this more like the rock as the shifted so joints are moved both by the frost action and by expansion and contraction so here as you can see we have uh, this is broke disintegration and this is the exfoliation they are being peeled off and you have some fragments just beneath the rock there we have these 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 uh, uh, flat pieces they are large for broke disintegration they are small small stones there and this is it they look like broke uh, some cubes blocks then here they look like sheets okay of stones then uh, we have um, free store weathering so a crack in a rock there is a crack crack fills with the rain water there then water freezes at night and expand this expands causing a more crack you have seen the crack which has developed here originally here this crack was not there this one and this one but here it has developed and the, at a later stage with this process continues it falls off so this expansion is the opposite in sideways so rock breaks away from the rock this is what happens so this is free talk weathering so in the next lesson we'll talk about chemical weathering uh, prepare yourselves for chemistry you have to recall what you learned in chemistry thank you so much for your attention